if Paul Pogba wakes up, looks in the mirror, and doesn't realize that Manchester United will go as far as he takes them, mm. uh, if he doesn't take that, that sort of responsibility on his shoulder and understand that, hey, we may not be the most talented. We may be missing some guys. There may be some injuries. But guess what? I'm still here. I can still be the guy. And that guy around me, he can be better because I'm here. And that guy around me can be better because I'm here. And I'm going to help him and I'm going to facilitate him. That's the attitude of a leader. That's the attitude of a guy who takes responsibility for what's going on on the field. It is very easy to then go in the other direction and say, you know what? I'm going to do me. Right. I'll do my job. I'll be out there. And if we win, we win. And if we don't, we don't. That's the easy route. That, but that also tells you about the personality of a player and what that player really brings to a club and an organization. Do you agree, Frank? The, yes, I, yes, I agree. And, and I think it's what he, he had to do. And, uh, and again, it's not that he's overrated. I think he lost it. I think he lost uh, his composure. He lost maybe his talent. He lost the, the meaning of, uh, of uh, being a football player. Uh, he became a star. Uh, he became a product at some point. Uh, a legend and in another point. So I, therefore, I think he, he lost it. He lost the, 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 the uh, yeah, the, 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 the anger, uh, the, the, the willing of uh, giving his best. And, and we don't see anything. When he was playing for Juventus, he was absolutely tremendous. In 2018, when he played for France, he had a great World Cup. Since then, bye-bye Paul Pogba. And, uh, and that's why I say he lost it. It's better than saying that he's overrated. It's interesting because people will say, oh, why are ESPN FC picking on Paul Pogba again? Manchester United are full of players that are not living up to their expectations. And as fair as that is, as Ali says, Frank, you expect Paul Pogba with the experience that he has and the transfer fee that United paid for him and the expectations around him, that he should be a leader in this team and he goes missing too often. Yes, but again, you know, it's been a while since uh, Paul Pogba said that he wanted to leave the club, that he wanted to join Real Madrid. So it's been a, a long, long shock coming from him more than from Manchester United. So as, as, and on top of it, he's, he got injured. So he, I think it delayed maybe uh, his departure. So there is a big problem with Paul Pogba. I don't know if he should carry on playing for Manchester United if he doesn't want to. So that's the point that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to wonder himself. Mm. You know, uh, yeah, should I pick Polba in the team uh, if he really wants to leave the club? If he doesn't want to give 100% to the club? That's the main question. Maybe they, sh they should have a discussion, a discussion, sorry, both of them. Frank, you said that he's lost it. Can he get it back? Well, I, I, when you have a talent, um, yeah, you can get it back. Now, when you get spoiled, you know, do you get the, how do you say, can you, can, can you still be hungry, hungry, mm. sorry, yeah. uh, uh, because it's what it, uh, it, 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 you need when you're a football player. If you're not hungry anymore, it's because you're too rich, because you've been too successful, uh, too, uh, you're too much a celebrity, uh, you, you lose that. And, and maybe it's too late for him, and maybe he lost it forever. Ali, obviously, it's a problem that you never had. Uh, but just quickly, <laughs> finally... Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Rich celebrity. <laughs> um, just quickly, if you're a big club, is there any way in which you're gambling on Pogba now in the future? Not at the sort of money that Paul Pogba is right now. And that's a calculation that you have to make and, and a decision that you have to make as a club is... a. The talent is there, but am I going to go chase that talent down the path and, and hope that somehow he regains it? In order for him to regain the level of play that we have seen from Paul Pogba, there's got to be, first and foremost, a realization by Paul Pogba that, man, I'm not the player I once was. He's got to admit that to himself. He's got to look in the mirror and say, boy, some things have changed. I have to address those things that have changed. And I have to improve upon those things. But until there isn't that self-evaluation and there isn't that self-critique, all of this that we're talking about, guess what? It loses a lot of importance because the performance level is going to continue to dip. And if the performance level continues to dip and goes into that trend that it's not going to get better, then why would any big club around the world be like, yep, let me jump on that. 
that seems like a good investment. No, sir. You pay that sort of money for a guy who's going to be an impactful player for you on and off the field, in the locker room, that is going to give you something different that you don't have. Paul Pogba right now is more of a headache than anything else. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.